What's good, YouTube? DM Gaming here, guys. Man, guys, I have spent a lot of time working on this. <laughs> Man, I'm excited to show it to you, you know, my team builder team. I wasn't all in the team builder, man, but you know, I'm changing my mind. I'm changing my ways. I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone because if I'm going to be a content creator for this game and future college football games, I got, I, I don't want to be one dimensional. You get what I'm saying? So we have here the Southern Arkansas University Mule Riders. Now, for some reason, and I don't know the reason, EA Sports don't allow you to they don't allow you to put Southern into the game. I could, you know, you have Southern Mississippi, all of that. But for some reason, uh, it won't allow me to put Southern. I can't add more letters in there. That's all I can put in there. And it really, really bothers me. So anyway, I want to show you all the team and then we'll hop in the game. Check out the stadium. Check out the jerseys. All of that fun stuff. So you see the logo Southern Arkansas had to put South. But you get it. Peep game on my uniforms, though, dog. The uniform game goes stupid on here, man. Got the all blue with the SAU now. You see the chrome stuff in the game. It's going to make it look distorted, but it's not. When you see it in the game, oh, my gosh, it's sick. And I know this because I was looking at it earlier, and the audio was messed up, so I had to redo the video. But these are the home jerseys. I'm a huge fan of a solid color scheme from head to toe. It looks really sharp. It looks really good. These are the away uniforms. I got to have an icy white. That is gorgeous. I love the SAU branding on the shoulder pads, the chrome. It is gorgeous. I freaking love these all white uniforms. We snowed out. And then you know I had to do a black uni. The all black uni game is sick. I got the logo outline in blue right there. Mule riders on the leg right there. Uniform game goes stupid. I am in highly impressed with the customization in this game. And then for some reason, guys, I don't know. I just wanted to do a gray uniform. It flows. It snaps. This is stupid, bro. I got the logo on the shoulders, man. This go crazy, man. I really, really like it. I went with Adidas with the jersey because even in real life, I like Adidas. I really like Adidas. And then you got the all gold unis right there. Oh, these is sick. The pants are very simple, and I like that. Mule Rider on the leg. Now, I didn't do that with the home and the away jersey, but it is what it is. And then checking out the stadium, uh, for some reason, the crowd, whenever I did look at it uh, in the game, I did use. So, let me say this first of all. Stadium-wise, be careful using the stadium. I picked North Texas because they're a 30,000 capacity stadium, which is perfectly fine for Southern Arkansas. Let's be real. That's not, we didn't even sit 30,000 people, but you know, you can still have a loud place to play. And any team that you pick, the branding in the stadium is going to stick. North Texas doesn't. Only thing, they have the Eagle logo on the scoreboard, but it's hard to see. I didn't even notice it till I went to instant replay. Then the crowd, of course... The crowd, you can put how what colors you want them wearing and how much of what color. The only issue or one issue, only issue I have with the crowd is even though I have this kind of darkish royal bluish looking color, the crowd seems to be wearing a lighter color blue and it could have just been the sun. I don't know. I have to digress. But you're looking at the stadium, guys, and at first I had this sucker large and in charge. It stretched it. It stretched from the numbers. And so I had to make it smaller because it kind of just was hard on the eyes to see all of that blue that wide and stuff like that. And then the program, it didn't let me choose what kind of star program I have or anything like that. So I don't know how that's going to go in dynasty mode. Maybe you're just going to replace the, uh, the team that you have. So guys, now we are in game here and I am stoked to, uh, to show y'all this one. Let me, let me uh let me make this bigger for y'all so y'all can really bask in the ambience of what what my greatness is in this game so uh i don't want to take away the full window but i want it to be bigger enough where we can see everything we ain't got the whole uh we ain't got the whole thing out there let's just fit the screen let's let's just keep it like that i don't think y'all care to see all of that right now do y'all there we go let's maximize that right there all right let's get into it the preview of the end game look actually so so here you're seeing the blue uniforms okay they look really really good 
the blue uniforms look really, really good. Um, and then, of course, we have the the white, the all white uniforms there. Um, a really clean, nice look right there. The helmets are sat uh, matte. I did matte helmets, but that that helmet does not look so matte in in on this preview. Now, understand that the uniforms will look different in the game. All right. Wilkins Stadium, you see the blackout unis. You see how you can barely see the number and you can't really see the Magnolia. Whenever you're in the game, you will be able to see that. So don't fret. You can't even really see the helmet, but you'll be able to see all of that. I'm going to go ahead and download that, even though I did earlier. I'm going to re-download it because I made some changes, okay? All right, and then the smoke uniforms right there. See, it still makes the helmet look black, but it's not. It makes the gold helmet look a dark gold, but it's not. And we are going to hop into a play now game uh, because I still haven't figured out how to get them in the dynasty mode. <laughs> Let me know that in the comment section down below, guys. I, I, I'm serious. I've been my brain is so shot from moving and doing all this other stuff. Dude, it's crazy. Um, let's go to southern Arkansas. And yeah, it's fine. We'll play Texas Tech. I'm not concerned with that. I wish they put the helmets in the game, but the logo is just fine. Edit my uniforms. I just, you can get a closer look at them. Look at the mule rider on the shoulder, I mean, on the chest. It makes it look like you can't really see it, but when you get in the game, you can see it very detailed. Like the all white jerseys right there with the matte white helmets. The lighting on this makes it look the way that it does whenever you preview the jerseys. I really wanted to rock the blackout. I saw that in the last video that I messed up on doing. And dude, that black looks ridiculously sick. I love it. I love it. I love it. But for the sake of the video, we'll just rock the all blue home uniforms. The white cleats is fine. We'll rock those ready to go load it up. Now, understand with your creative team, you don't have a, um, you're not going to have a, an intro. It's just going to hit the field, hit the field running. Does that make sense? And so you see the logo there, Southern Arkansas. I wish the logo was a little bit more crisp, but that's perfectly fine. I want to run offense, so let's jump ahead to uh, play some offense here. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and play some defense. I just didn't feel like doing kickoff return or kickoff. Not, my, not a fan of that. And we got the place rocking. It says we're number 10, the number 13 team in the nation. I have no clue why they rated us that high. But I'm not going to argue. I made the midfield logo smaller, and I am extremely happy with that. Look at that right there. And the crowd is still wearing the uh, the light blue for some reason. So once again, look at the stadium. You can tell it's North Texas because look on the scoreboard right there. You can see the, uh, the logo on the scoreboard. But never fear, never fret. Um, gosh, that's blurry. Once you're in game, like, and you don't even notice that. But look at this field, dude. Look at the stadium here. Let me zoom out for y'all right here, man. This looks really, really good. I'm very happy with the stadium. The logo looks clean. I, I kind of feel like I, I should have made it wider. It looks a little bit too narrow. Maybe stretched it from the 40 to the other 40. I may go back and change that, but it, eh. It, it doesn't bother me too much, but you know what I'm saying. That that does kind of look a little narrow, but it could just be the camera angle as well. Um, the stadium, in a sense, guys, looks really good. I like the stadium. If I can get this camera working, everything is backwards here. The end zones with SAU look good. Gosh, everything is backwards on the camera. I really hate that. That's crazy. Uh, the stadium itself, it, it looks nice. That's a good-looking stadium. You know what I'm saying? And then the crowd and their blue and their gold and stuff like that. And see what I mean? Like, I made a darker color blue, but it makes the crowd wear a lighter color blue. Other than that, there's no other branding. They use your, your team logo. They got the Mule Riders right there scrolling up and down. That's a really cool look right there. Uh, and then you see where the home, the away team sits. So I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty, I'm pretty uh, satisfied with it overall. So let's see if we can't do a couple of drives and just see how uh, things go for us. They're using some motion right there. I probably should have shed that block to the outside. Square up on them right there. And let's peep out the logo. Oh, they're doing a no huddle. We're going to let them do it. 
I'm going to stay in the same defense I was in. We're just going to roll some guys down and play the pass since we know that's what they're doing. Unless they decide to give it to the running back here. Making some checks, but it's probably too loud for him to hear. Shed a block right there. Get a pick. No, we knocked it down instead. Let us go and check out the instant replay so we can peep game on these uniforms. We'll just pick a player right here. Let's zoom in on him. And we can see the uniforms. Let's back up right there. Look at that. Oh, no. Nah. Bad choice. First of all, I like the cleats. But bad choice of player because he got his jersey tucked in. You don't really get down with that. Let's peep game on the cornerback, man. Look at that right there, dude. That looks sharp. The SAU on the shoulder right there looks good. Uh, the helmets look really, really nice. The chrome numbers, the chrome plating, that helmet. Okay, I am super happy with these uniforms. That is dope, bro. I killed it on the unis, man. Look, you see the Mule Rider shoulder patch is chrome. And it's really weird because it actually reflects what's shown on the field. You can see the line reflecting off of that. That is really, really cool look right there, dude. I am super happy about this. Can't wait to play with them in dynasty mode, man, and take my Mule Riders to the college football playoffs. I'll probably put them in the All-American Conference and replace North Texas since I have their field. Or I might uh, replace somebody in the Sun Belt. I want to start small and work my way up into a larger conference. I actually don't even know if the game has conference invites in it. All right, so as far as the playbook, I did choose Texas's playbook because I really like this playbook. I run a lot of wing stack. I run a lot of split zone, split Z plus. What they do in split Z plus, and we'll go over this whenever we do the playbook breakdown, they put a receiver behind the quarterback. You see what the defense is lined up in. It forces them to line up in the box. And so... The receiver is a lot of times open right there in the flats. Now, if your receiver on the outside gets a good block, this play can go for a lot. And then eventually you run it enough, you start to do those play action plays out of the same formation. And, dude, you're gouging the defense. I mean, look at how far back. You got one corner out there. Everybody else is loaded in the box. So at the snap of the ball, look, there's nobody out there. If you make a good enough pass, that's about four or five yards a pop. I played Memphis against number fifth rank um number fifth rank georgia in athens and guess what i won the game my receiver had 50 because it's a pass they counted as a pass he had 55 receptions for i think like 400 yards or so it was crazy i'm loving the sidelines on here the accent with the yellow and the blue go really well i like to run rpos a lot because they are amazing in this game you see the corner and the safety backed off here you're just looking over there see that one-on-one -on -one right there we'll take that every time especially if you have a speedy guy like that and then i like to incorporate turbo and no huddle if i'm running that play to the boundary i don't want to run a screen to the boundary and so i'll just audible to run uh run this dive play right here and then hey since i got space i'm on the left hash we'll go back to the original turbo play which is the rpo and we'll run that again look i get a block to the outside on one-on-one -on -one. i'll take that every single time turbo 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 and we'll go inside zone right here be patient on your zone plays because the whole it, it, can, it can go anywhere see right there you just gotta i'm gonna tell you the key to zone plays is patience patience and more patience i really also like halfback screens the game finally got them right because if you're able to get the ball to your to your running back sometimes look at the blocking the blocking is really good and then like i can set up my blocks right there i really tried to bounce that back out to the outside but you can see how well it goes and so let's go back to the z plus uh and let's run motion play action halfback now he's gonna go to the side this time so we are looking at a one high safety look and the tight end should be open over the top. Let's see if that is the case. Play action right here. Nope, he was not open. And I did not even have time to throw the football. Guys, that's a big deal in this game. Your offensive linemen are crazy important, man. Like, y'all really need to make sure that y'all get good offensive linemen. Because if you don't, great block on the outside. If you don't have good offensive linemen, you are going to struggle in this game. That is not a, a myth. That is not a thought. 
You are going to struggle if you do not have good offensive linemen. You're not going to be able to create pressure if you don't have good defensive linemen as well. Good block on the outside and touchdown Southern Arkansas. Look at that, man. The crowd's going stupid. The uniforms look dope. I'm excited to play a dynasty with this team, guys. But we're going to end the video there because, guys, I got to get ready for this live stream. I'm going to give this video some time to get some views and stuff like that. But, man, I'm excited to bring y'all some content, man. Talk about the game. See y'all's thoughts and opinions on it and everything like that. Guys, that's all I got for right now, man. Till next time, y'all. Thanks for watching. Peace.